Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We from group 4 are going to present our answer for the question 6 The first question is Diagram 6.1 shows a human fetus in his mother's uterus Explain the function of fluid X Firstly, we have to know what is fluid X Fluid X is amniotic fluid. Amniotic, amniotic fluid acts as cushion that protects if mother falls or physical harm or outside pressure. It also acts as lubricant for fetus body parts such as fingers and toes from growing together. It contains antibodies which protects the fetus against disease. Amniotic fluid also allow the baby to float inside amniotic sac and giving its freedom to move and to give muscle and bones the opportunity to develop properly. Lastly, amniotic fluid insulates the baby keeping it warm by maintaining the regular temperature. Next, we move on to next question. Question B. Diagram 6.2 show three healthy practice for pregnant women. Explain the effect on the development of factors if these healthy practice are not followed. As we look at the question, there are three practice for the pregnant woman. So, we have to do the answer using the stimulus given, which is smoking, drugs and alcohol. Firstly, smoking. In cigarette smoke, contain nicotine, carbon dioxide and carcinogenic. It can diffuse from maternal capillary to fetus capillary through placenta and causing miscarriage or premature birth. Secondly, drugs. In drugs contain harmful chemical substance, for example, cocaine, ecstasy, and heroin, and it can increase the chance of birth defect and brain damage of the fetus. Then alcohol. Alcohol can pass from mother's blood to fetus blood. It causes distinctive facial fracture and causing growth problem or birth defect on the fetus. Alcohol also causing fetal alcohol syndrome. For the last question. Diagram 6.3 shows a female hormonal level and its relationship with ovary and uterus change during menstrual cycle. Based on diagram 6.3, explain the relationship between the hormonal level with the following processes. Development of follicle, ovulation, and development of corpus luteum. First, we need to understand and identify the hormone involved in the diagram and try to relate it with the relationship between the four different graphs in the diagram. For the first process, which is the development of follicle, it starts when pituitary gland starts to secrete follicle stimulatory hormone FSH, and the level of FSH is increasing from day 1 to day 5. Its level will be maximum on day 5 and day 13, and FSH will stimulate the primary follicle to develop into secondary follicle and the secondary follicle will develop into graphene follicle. The developing of follicle will secrete estrogen. For the next process which is ovulation, the level of estrogen increase from day 6 to day 14. The level of estrogen is maximum on day 12. Estrogen stimulates pituitary gland to secrete LH. LH level become maximum on day 13. Graphene follicle ruptures and secondary oxide release from graphene follicle which causes ovulation to occur on day 14.
last but not least for the third process which is development of corpus luteum after day 15 the graphene follicle change into corpus luteum stimulated by luteinizing hormone LH and the corpus luteum will start to secrete progesterone the progesterone level will increase from day 15 to day 28 and if fertilization does not occur corpus luteum will be degenerate that's all from us. Thank you.